in this module, we would like to recap some of the things which we have already covered, and I hope that you have learned. This is what we do in the form of a quiz. This quiz asks a question with some answers. Normally, we would have four answers. Only one of those answers is correct. I would like you to choose your answer and write it down and see later whether you were right in your choice. I must say that you should participate in this activity. I can see that there would be three types of students, type A, the best one. They would immediately look at the question and write down their answer. Type B would be the ones who would like to immediately Google to find the right answer. And type C would be the ones who would like to do nothing. Unke khayal mein jawab to mil hi jana hai. Mere khayal mein aapko type A mein hona chahiye. Type B in my terminology is mediocre students. Type C ko to is course mein hona hi nahi chahiye. The question is, the excess funds left in profit equalization reserve used in profit sharing investment accounts belong to A, profit sharing investment account holders. B, bank management. C, profit sharing investment account holders, bank shareholders, and bank management. D, profit sharing investment account holders and bank shareholders. So, write down your answer and see whether you are correct in your of course, my expectation by now would be that you should be correct in your choice. However, if that is not the case, don't lose heart. You would be able to play this question or the questions like this in future successfully. Now, I would like to pick up uh, an answer randomly. I know the answer. However, I would like to pick up one of these randomly to see whether this is the correct answer. Previously, I think I picked up A. Today, I would like to pick up D. I go for profit sharing investment account holders and bank shareholders, and I click on this one. This is actually the correct answer. As you know, that when the funds, the profit realized, is put into profit equalization reserve, at that point in time, there is no distribution between the bank shareholders and the profit sharing investment account holders. Bank's share, i.e., the bank's management share. Bank's share has already been deducted. However, those who contribute to Mudaraba pool, i.e. profit sharing investment account holders and shareholders of the bank, their distribution doesn't take place. So, whatever is in the profit equalization reserve, actually that belongs to these two groups, i.e. PSIA holders and shareholders of the bank in accordance with their share in the Mudaraba pool. So, this is the correct answer. The other three answers, like A, A is wrong because profit sharing investment account holders have claim on investment risk reserve. As the money goes into this reserve, 
from the profit share of profit sharing investment account holder. B is also wrong because bank management doesn't have any claim on the profit. They just work for the bank, i.e., they are managers of the bank and they are working principally for the shareholders. So they do not have any share in either profit equalization reserve or in investment risk reserve. C is also wrong because profit sharing investment account holders and bank shareholders, only these two groups, they have claim on the excess funds in PER. Bank management doesn't have any claim on the funds in PER or for that matter, the funds in investment risk reserve. 